Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode two of our FTB University Let's Play series, where today we are working on mining, getting ore doubling set up, and uh, doing a few quests. So let's get started. Alrighty, folks, welcome back to Casa the Andrada, is our temporary name, uh, where I'm throwing my sword at the wall, apparently, uh, where we have a bear issue, maybe. Has the bear been taken care of? Um, I heard some fighting sounds earlier, and the bear... No, I'm trying to harvest you, buddy. Are you not ready to be harvested? I don't remember how to do this. Shift click? Apparently not. Uh, anyway, I heard some fighting earlier, so maybe the bear problem has resolved itself, but our bears did um, end up growing, as I predicted, into adult bears, and they were not very happy with me uh, killing their mother. As again, I predicted. Uh, so I was hiding and hiding in inside at home for a little while just to be, you know, sure that I wasn't those source berries mess me up every time. Um, where is this zombie at that is on my map? He's got to be in this little cave here. Yeah. Zombie, are you in here? No, I'm going to light this little cave up anyway, just because I don't want anything spawning on me there. He's got to be behind that wall. What the heck? You're just, you're, you're annoying me. And apparently there was a, a, a skelly there. Hello? Y'all saw those drops in the world, right? They must have literally despawned right as I walked over them. Oh, there's the bears. I should put some fences up so they can't come back. They finally made their way out of our base. Uh, anyway, in between episodes, I have done a little bit of work. So if we go down here, as you can see, I haven't used my pack. So I've been using iron pickaxes because we were given quite a few um, to go around. I have organized our storage somewhat. Um, so we have all of our building blocks up here in our top. So our cobblestone, scoria and all that stuff. We have our wood stuffs here. We have all of our ores that we have gathered, which you can see we've gotten quite a bit. I've done a little bit of work in between episodes. We'll go down in the mine and show you because we have some diamonds to get. Uh, we have all of our ingots, our metals. We have our gems and stuff, coal, clay, anything like jemmy. Though I guess clay is not really jemmy, but it fits the theme. Uh, plant stuff and food, mob drops, miscellaneous, and then another miscellaneous overflow. There is... These mods, mobs are like on the other side of this wall. I'm literally like about to go into peaceful mode just to get rid of them because I do not want to listen to these guys for the next like 200 episodes. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, I hate trying to, I, I hate trying to find mobs that are in your walls. It just drives me nuts. Let's go ahead and uh, options just peaceful hey they're gone no more mob sounds not that fighting zombies and skeletons are hard but i just don't want to hear them don't want to hear them floating around our base uh anyway so if we go ahead and pop down into our mine shaft here um i basically mined down here at y level 11 and utilized our vein mining capabilities on small tunnel and if you look the way small tunnel works is it, um, oh, I shifted it to shapeless, uh, small tunnel. The way that it works is if you're standing in front of a block, you can kind of see the outline. It's going to mine, as you can see in the top left, 10 blocks in this direction, and it's going to match the block type. So it's going to do stone or like if we were to do dirt, it would go up three blocks of dirt and it will stop when it reaches a, uh, type of, well, a different type. So basically utilize that for all of my mining here. We do have a nice little um, lava pit cave over here, which is gonna be great for when we need to get some lava. But uh, I basically dug until we found somewhere straight that I could go, um, which was not here, not here, not here, here. So I went all the way down there. I also went all the way down this way just to see what we could find. And, uh, but I don't like to, I generally don't tend to mine this way. I like to, you know, we do strip mining. So we have our, our one layer and then, you know, strip mine down. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, diamonds, we have quite a few diamonds I have found. So we have a nice little stack of diamonds here. One, two, three, four, five. 
Is that, is that accurate? Five diamonds here. And what I like to do is dig around my diamonds to see, you know, because you never know, there might be some hidden diamonds. And there might be one that's off in a diagonal or whatever, not connected to the vein. So I always go ahead and just dig around them. Um, but we're going to set to shapeless and mine these up. Now, pickaxe level diamond, four diamond. Does that... Are you kidding me? This doesn't count. Why, why, why? Uh, so, well, that was a waste of those diamonds. Apparently, you can't, the lapis pickaxe does not count to mine diamond level tools. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that. I thought, I thought pickaxe or diamond was supposed to be iron level. Okay. Let's go get an iron pickaxe. I think I have one extra in my miscellaneous. Yes. Like, Diamond ore recipe. Okay, that's recipe usage. Like you don't you don't tell me how to break you because you know diamond ore doesn't get broken or anything. But like, uh, hello, that was that's a waste of five diamonds. I, I thought I was gonna get to show y'all you know awesome diamonding. I've been saving this pick that this paxel just for this reason, and it let me down. I have more diamonds down here though, so it's not the end of the world. I went and mined this way for a while. As you can see, I generally, it depends. Sometimes I'll get the stuff that's on the sides. For the most part, I just I just mine straight ahead and I put on, you know, like a YouTube or something like that and I'll watch the YouTube while I just continue mining straight ahead and just zone out essentially. Yeah, look, this works fine. This is not an iron level, you know what? Just, just get out of here. I don't even wanna see you anymore. Uh, anyway, we do have a little bit of diamonds, so that's nice. So we got three, and then there's a couple more stacks down here. I went mining for a while and just kept going straight ahead uh, until we ran into, you know, well, more diamonds. There's some diamonds over here. Now, I didn't get these ones, and I also didn't clear this out. I probably should have, but I didn't want to uh, risk losing the diamonds for whatever reason. So we're going to go ahead and clear this area out. Uh, so what do we have? Let's go ahead and clear out this redstone. Doesn't look like it looks like maybe three here as well. Slightly unfortunate. I'm hoping I was hoping for a bigger vein. We do have, I think, maybe one more vein down there of diamonds. Maybe two. I can't remember off the top of my head. So uh, that's OK. We'll make it work. OK, so then I should be able to stand here and mine these without losing any of them. Yes. Oh, was there four there? I got, I have seven. I like to put that in that hand anyway. Uh, oh yeah, look, there's some down there and then there's some here. So we can go ahead and grab these ones, which was a five. Nice. And then there's another one down here which is going to be a five block. And you can tell by up in the top left, our uh, vein miner. So I don't even have to think about it. Uh, you know what? And while I'm here, let's go ahead and grab this coal. And there's a little bit of iron. Might as well take it because it'll come in handy eventually. Uh, and let's F7. Yes, we do need more torches down here. That way we don't, uh, you know, let a bunch of quicksilver ore. I did not see any of this. What is this? What do you do? Quicksilver ore usage. Uh, you turn into quicksilver ingots, which can be, it is a weapon. Um, you can use it to pay a beacon. Kind of looks like an, an iron tier, but not as, or better than iron. It's close to diamond, I guess. It was six, right? We'll look up, we'll look when we get back home. Um, one thing I want to do when we get back home, somebody remind me when we get back up there. What is this? Lead ore. Okay. I've gotten some lead. The texture just looked weird. Uh, anyway, uh, source gem ore. I've gotten those before. What I'm trying to say is somebody remind me when we get back up top to do something that I can't remember what it is now. So I guess, uh, just, just ignore me. Uh, anyway, we'll be back. All right, so what I want to do today is start diving into some of these quests. Um, we do have one quest ready to go, or two quests ready to go. Um, for Applied Energistics, I got the Quartz, so we have that available to us. I don't want to collect these quests yet. I want to wait until we get um, 
we're, we're ready to dive into applied energistics before I start doing any of these quests. So we're going to kind of let's let them sit here ready to go. Same thing with our Maho Sukai here. Um, just talks about us taking damage. It's going to give us the dagger. But we'll, we'll get there when we actually get into the respective mods. The first things that I want to get into is trying to see what options do we have for um, ore doubling. Because I want to take these ores that we have somewhere here and... Well, get get more of them. We want we want to double them. So I don't believe thermal is in the pack, correct? Uh, is thermal in the pack? It is, but none of the machines are in the pack. It looks like that's interesting. So no pulverizer or furnace. Okay, so there is. Uh, it is in here, but there's no oh instant furnace. What is this? I'm going to assume it smelts things instantly, but it's going to require singularities. It's going to require 10,000 coal to go into a single singularity. Holy guacamole. An electrum singularity, which is going to require electrum ingots. And you need 10. Oh, one of those. Interesting. Uh, and another one. So that's 20,000 coal we need to make this thing. That's a lot. That, that's some that's ridiculous crafting. Let me say say that up front. Um, anyway, okay, so for smelting and stuff, we don't have thermal. We do have mechanism available to us, so we could go the mechanism route. Though I, um, mechanisms machines are in here, yes. So if we get like a, um, crusher, the crusher is in here, it is. We do need to get into mechanism to be able to get into this. Sorry if you just heard me bump my mic. Uh, let's see, what options do we have? So we have, uh, Batania doesn't do it. Immersive, immersive, maybe. Pneumaticraft, does Pneumaticraft have uh, ore doubling? Just trying to see, I, I've played with Pneumaticraft a couple times, but I don't know if it does like ore processing. RF compatible machine, pneumatic dynamo and flux compressor. Compressed air to generate forge energy. Uh, they both get hot very fast. So it looks like it honestly it does it looks like mechanism is going to be our 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 start for simple setups. Now one thing I want to know is there is the schools that's supposed to be available in this. How do we get to a school? Hey look, forge generators. This tells us how can we generate power? Okay, a mana flux field, endergenic, coal generator, heat generator. Um our tools power, solar generators, and mechanism, wind generators are also good. And then this is, I didn't know that environmental tech generates power. Oh, solar cell, that, that does make sense. Okay, so probably getting into a gas burning generator is gonna be our best option to start out with um, to, get us, to get ourselves some decent power. Uh, but to get to that point, we're gonna have to get, you know, get going. So let's see, uh, let, me, let me figure out what we're gonna do this way and then uh, we'll come back, okay? All right, so first things first, I uh, went down and I had to mine up a little bit of osmium. Uh, there was some osmium floating around down there, so I got some osmium ore for us. Uh, yeah, took care of that. Got some more osmium, some more cobble, all that good stuff. Yada, 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 bada bing, bada boom. We got 30 levels going for us, which is great for when we get into enchanting. Um, and as you can see up top, I've added a few things to our to-do list. So our first thing that we're going to get into, we're going to we're going to dive into mechanism for our ore crushing and everything. I think that's going to be our best option. Um, real quick, want to point out in the miss -er chapter, there is these are just more miscellaneous mods and things um, Buy a random cool thing. Levels worth of experience and give you a loot crate. That kind of concerns me. Um, uh, but we're going to use it. Let's use five levels of experience and get a loot crate. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that's going to be. Um, I'm always nervous with loot crates and stuff. But anyway, this tells you different mod stuff. And one of the things that it does is talks about, um, was it in here? It may not have even been here. Definitely going to be making a dank knoll, by the way. Maybe it's in useful things. Well, shh. I don't remember where it was, but anyway, if you press Control V, it opens up this little menu here. By default, it's Control V. This is from the Dynamic Surroundings mod, and you can turn down sounds. I do not like the footsteps that it adds in. Uh, 
they're really quite obnoxious, so I turned down the footsteps. Just something I want to point out. Uh, I'm kind of scared about this loot crate and opening it up in our base. I'm not entirely sure if this is a good idea, but hey, we got a quark rainbow rune. OK, that was absolutely the best thing we could have gotten from that. If you don't know, these rainbow runes uh, allow you to have if you enchant an item, you can apply this with an anvil, changes the color of the enchant. This one specifically makes it rainbow colored. Uh, anyway, so we have a couple things on our to-do list. We have a quartz grindstone and a wooden crank. Quartz grindstone, it's just going to require some, quar some quartz, some stone, and gears and stuff, and we will be able to craft this. I don't know if granite is going to count as a stone in this pack. It would be kind of nice if it did. We will find out. Uh, and then we just need a little bit of our Certus quartz. Let's see. Uh, it does. We just need some sticks. My wood area is here. Let's get some more logs and get some more sticks. We need, definitely need to take care of wood, that's for sure. Uh, so there's a wooden gear and a quartz grindstone. Bam. So granite is or dictionaried with stone, which is great because you can just mine up granite. You don't have to worry about it, you know, turning into cobblestone and then having to smelt it back up. It's cheaper. Uh, so what we're going to do is take this wooden crank and the quartz grindstone and we're going to put away all of our extra stuff. I got to remember where I put things now because this organization system is slightly different than I normally do in order to, you know, keep in theme with our base down here. Um, but what we're going to do is take this stuff, put it away and we're going to grab some of our ore. Right. And so what our first things that we need to get is we need to get into the the metallurgic infuser and the enrichment chamber okay in order to make these an energized smelter or a crusher we are going to require both steel which steel is best made by energized smelting uh, or smelting regularly we would have to smelt regularly um steel grit which is made in a metallurgic infuser with coal and then enriched iron, which enriched iron is made in a metallurgic infuser with coal and iron. Makes sense. So basically we're going to need iron and then we're going to need to make an enrichment chamber because it just makes things cheaper for us ultimately. But in order to do all of this stuff, we are going to need uh, some iron and we're also going to need a little bit of osmium. Yes, we're gonna need some osmium there and these are made out of osmium as well. So we're gonna need some osmium. I am gonna have to do some more mining because we don't have a ton of redstone, uh, but that can be in between episodes. It's not anything that we have to do now. So what you wanna do is take your quartz grindstone and make a wooden crank with it as well. And we're gonna go ahead and place the wooden, place the wooden crank on top. There we go. I was standing there, so it broke. And we're going to go ahead and place our ore inside of here. And you can do multiple. It doesn't really matter. But you let it run and you just sit here and you hold right click. And this is a manual ore doubler. Uh, so you sit here and you hold right click and you hold right click and you hold right click. And you look inside of here. It's processing iron ore. It has processed some of them and we have gotten some iron dust and it doubles your ore. Get it? Super simple. Not not too complicated to understand. Uh, it is a manual process, though. What I just did was pull out my coal and I wanted to see if tiny coal exists in the pack. And it does. And the reason that I like tiny coal, each one of these pieces of coal can smelt eight items. Right. So if I were to put this inside of this furnace right now and I were to only do this six iron dust, essentially I'm wasting uh, what is that a, f a quarter of the coal's capability to smelt things because once this six is done it's still going to be on fire there's still going to be heat in there it's going to cook and it's going to cool down and waste it if we do this and convert this over to tiny coal each one of these can now smelt one singular item and so it stops wastage with your coal so i always like to convert over to tiny coal if i can so that would be another seven Bam, so now we can smelt a whole stack of stuff and we're not gonna waste coal. Make sense? Uh, so we need to do this again and we're gonna add it to this one. And we're just gonna do this with all of these. 
bam and bam so that we have all of our furnaces switched over to tiny coal and it's just it, it's more efficient ultimately in the long run for us because we're not wasting coal now can tiny coal be turned back into regular coal i believe it can yes however keep in mind it's nine tiny coal to go back into one coal where each one of these gives you eight so there is a loss during the process okay uh, is iron furnaces in the pack it is not so we don't have iron furnaces so we can't upgrade our furnace to a higher tier but that's okay we can just let it run as is and sit here and spam right click until we get enough iron for this process and the reason that we're going to get these gener these um crushers and everything is because this will auto or double for us so we don't have to do the work ourselves so this will do this whole process for us and then the smelter will do the smelting for us. And then it's a it's an automated setup without having to manually crank and manually transfer over to the furnace. One thing to mention with this crank setup that we have going on here is be very careful when you get to the end of your um, stuff that you are crushing. So if we were to take all of these out and just leave one in here, if we were to do this and let it run, and you see how it stopped. I didn't stop it. It stopped on its own. If you continue clicking this after it stops, you can break your crank. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to crank past its stopping point. Only only go until it it stops. Which means that if you set up a if you have an auto clicker or, or macro function on your uh, mouse, just be careful. Granted, it is only like what six sticks of wood, so it's not really that, or five sticks of five sticks, so it's not that expensive to make a crank. But in early game, like me right now, I don't have a lot of wood excess wood, so it, it, it is it is slightly expensive for me at this point in the game. Um, so I am going to um, continue cranking all this stuff. We have about five minutes left in this episode, so I'm just going to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to crank this stuff, smelt this stuff. Why do my doors keep getting opened? Am I, is that me opening them? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to go ahead and crank and cook and get us ready to go for our next episode. I'm going to do some more mining, get us some more redstone so that we have that going for us. And we can, you know, dive into mechanism and get stuff going. All right. So if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.